Family and Charity Apostolic Church family, friends, and supporters. Beginning this Saturday, I will be teaching a five-week series on holiness. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 through 16, and I quote, But be holy in all you do, just as God, the one who called you, is holy. It is written in the scripture, you must be holy because I am holy, unquote, New Century Version. Holiness is a command, it is not an option. Peter, the chief apostle, said here, be holy in all you do. In order to be holy in all you do, you have to know what holiness is. God's holiness means he is absolutely pure and perfect. We can only become holy by conforming to his character and will. It is a two defi twofold definition when we talk about holiness. Number one, holiness is separation from sin and worldliness, which we call sanctification. Number two, holiness is dedication to God. These areas of separation should be manifested in our thoughts, our attitude, stewardship of the body, the tongue, the eye, the appearance, and amusements. Let me give you some examples of the church's problem with holiness. I have heard pastors use profanity like it is their native language. I have heard them use the N-word with no shame. Also, I've had, had a couple of young men who aren't really committed to a church speak to me about the way many young women that come to church are dressed. They would say to me things like, and I quote, when I go to church, I have to ask myself, am I going to a nightclub or church with the way these women are dressed, unquote. What I have to ask is, what are they taught about modesty and uh, which is a part of holiness? Today, there is no distinction between the sexes. Women are wearing men's clothing and men are wearing women's clothing. But God commands there be a distinction. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse number 5, it reads, and I quote, A woman must not wear men's clothing and a man must not wear women's clothing. The Lord your God hates anyone who does that. Unquote. New century version. God still wants a witness in society for the distinction between male and and female. If the church doesn't provide it, who will? God always gives us a choice in serving him. We didn't choose our gender, but by our dress, our hair, our actions, we can either ratify or reject God's will for us. God is concerned about every aspect of your life, and he wants you to be holy. Without holiness, you will not see the Lord. Without holiness, the church loses its true identity. In the next five weeks, I look forward to helping you in your understanding about being a disciple of Yahshua. I hope to see you this Saturday at 1130 as we begin our holiness journey. May Yahweh bless you and see you this Saturday.